Poems for Mother's Day? Yes, very nice. How about you, Akka? <laughs> Boys and girls, just care. Nice. So boys and girls, a poem can be about anything. But the most important thing to understand is that a poem starts long before you put your pen on the page. Where do we think a poem might begin? In the very beginning. I'll give you a little clue. It starts up here with your E. Who said it? Who said it over here? With your imagination. Give them a big clap, everybody. <laughs> Poetry starts with your imagination, boys and girls, because it is a way to express your emotions on paper. If you're writing a poem, what can we call you? What can we call you? Is it just teachers who write poems? What's anyone who writes a poem called? Poet Wadima. Give her a big clap, everybody. Okay. Now there's another word for a poem, and it starts with our lovely letter V. We can also call a poem this. What can we call it? Anyone know? How about the, how about the grade fives over here? What can we also call a poem with the big letter V? I a verse boys and girls. We can also call a poem a verse. Now today, two of my little girls in grade two are going to come over here. Over here, girls. One at either side. Now who can have a guess what poem these girls wanted to say today? I'll give you a clue. It's about something I'm holding in my hand. It's about a teddy bear. That's the thing, boys and girls. Poems can be about anything that you wish to write about. And sometimes poems have words that sound great together. What kind of poems are these? The words that sound really good when we say them together. Rhyme. 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 Rhyming poems. Boys and girls, let's find out what poem we're doing today. What's the title of the poem? Teddy Bear. What's the title of the poem? Teddy bears. Let's get started, boys and girls. I'm going to put these guys down for a minute because my hands are full. Don't forget them. They're right there. Right. Ready? Steady. Let's present the poem. Let's say the title first. Teddy bears. Say the title, darling. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Very simple. The title of the poem is Teddy bears. It's Teddy bears. Let's get started. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, shake your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, run upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, Turn out the lights. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. And I think they've already said good night because look at these guys. They're fast asleep, boys and girls. Shh. Now, boys and girls, we have another student, in fact, a few students, that are going to come up here and say some wonderful poems. So, can we give a, a, a quiet clap? for these girls and make way for some other students. Good morning, everyone. It's me again. The, the poetry guy, you know me? So today, uh, to continue with the month of poetry, even though the, it's the end of the month, I have a special poetry book for you. Seems like uh, I forgot my book. Silly me, huh? Very silly, yeah? Oh, wait, wait, I remember. It's with me, actually. Where do you think it is? Imagination. You see it in my pocket? Here. Sorry, it's a pencil. Something else. 
Don't tell anyone. It's not poetry. Where could it be? Good guess. It's in my other pocket, thank you. Today, I have the world's smallest book of poetry in my hand. If you remember term two, Miss Rhea came up to the stage and she showed everyone a giant atlas with maps and all information about countries around the world. Now, if you look at my arms, I, I have no muscles, so I cannot carry that book. So instead, I have brought a tiny, itty bitty, teeny weeny book that you can carry in your pocket, and it's a full book of poetry. These poems in this book have a very special name. They're called micro poems. Micro means small or tiny. So a tiny book of poetry with tiny poems inside. Now there's only one rule for micro poetry. The only rule is the poem has to be less than 20 words total. That's what makes a micro poem. So these lovely grade five students here are going to read some micro poems to each of you today, and each one is less than 20 words total. But it's a full poem from beginning to end. This book is very hard to read from, so I've typed them out to make it a little bit easier for them to read. Are we ready to hear some beautiful, tiny, itty bitty, teeny weeny poems? Who's ready? Yes. Oh, no, no, we can't do it. it. Needs to be a better reaction, need to get excited. Everybody ready? That's how I like to hear it. Maybe you're up first. Ready? Camping trip, sister fire, we're waiting. My cat sits around like a king, pouring away while I work all day. Snail passes a car in my driveway. Even the wind has more colors in the fall. Some see the beauty in a sunset, and some see the end of a day. Stars, light years away, gone but bright. Beautiful reading. Oh, and a big clap, amazing. Well done, grade fives. Now, before we leave the stage, a quick challenge to each of you. Your weekend homework is to go home, write a poem of your own that is less than 20 words and bring it back to your teacher on Monday. Do you think we could do that? Badger's gonna do it, I know. All right, that's your weekend challenge. Have a lovely Friday, everyone. Thank you so much. Hello, boys and girls. Just quickly before we go, I just want to remind you, in this week, each of you, um, each of your parents received a letter about the concert. Now on this letter, there was a link for your parents to RSVP, meaning that they need to let us know which date they would prefer to come. There is one day on the 24th, I think, that is in the morning, and then there's another date on the 25th that is in the afternoon. So please remind mom or dad to click on the link